Hey, hey, save my coin budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha, and in today's video, we are gonna budget on my second page, er, second, take two. Hey. <laughs> We're gonna be budgeting out my first paycheck for the month of July. So if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffing, sinking funds, single mother finances on a low income, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you do not miss time to post if this is your first time seeing a video hey thank you so much for clicking on it if you're a returning subscriber and oldie but goodie hey hey thank you so much for coming on back so guys we went ahead and we laid out my bills and financial obligations for my first paycheck for the month of july so we are going to receive this on the 7th of july so i do use the calendar method and paycheck by paycheck method so that means i do lay out all of my financial responsibilities from the day that i get paid which is the seventh up until the day before i get my next paycheck which is going to be the 20th um, so all of those bills that fall between the 7th and the 20th are all going to be paid with this one paycheck so that is my internet walmart spotify state farm com ed and my discover credit card so let's go ahead and map out how we're going to these bills and our financial obligations. But before we do, let me know how are you today? How are the kids? How's the family? How was your 4th of July? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope that you had a blessed one whenever you are watching this. But let's get in right into this budget, okay? So we're gonna start here with my bills because I always like to make sure that my ties are right out of the are out of the way. So 10% of my income I do um, give back to God because I thank Him for being my source, my provider, my waymaker. So 10% of my ties, which is the $1,320, is going to be $1,320. And this is a personal choice. Don't come for me in the comment section down below. This is a personal choice that I am, I am doing. Um, this is not something that everyone needs to do, but this is what I do. My internet is $10, and that is with AT&T. Next is Spotify, and that is for my music, streaming, and there's something else with that. Music and... I have something else with this Spotify and I don't know what is the attached stream. Oh, Hulu. Hulu is what I have with it. And then next is State Farm. So these are all my insurances, the adult things. So it, I'm going to budget 100 and where did I put here? $125. And then next is my ComEd bill. And for ComEd, I did budget it to be $75. Okay, so that's $352 for my financial responsibilities when it comes to my bills. Next is going to be Walmart. And you guys know I always budget the um, monthly payment just in case I do charge something. And I do use my Walmart credit card for gas. I'm gonna budget the $28. Discover, you guys know I did make a transaction on my Discover credit card. Um, I told you guys in my last video so I am going to budget to start paying that off. It is around four hundred odd dollars, so I'm putting one hundred and thirty dollars towards my Discover credit card, and then we have our sinking funds and savings challenges. You're probably like, sis, you got a whole lot of money left. We don't. Um, for sinking funds, I'm going to be putting five hundred dollars towards my sinking funds. And that is for my three categories that I'm focusing on. Back to school, Christmas, and emergency fund. Those are my three categories that I'm going to go hard for for this remaining uh, 2023. My main focus right now is back to school because it will be here before I know it in late August. And next is savings challenges. And that is going to be getting $57. All right. So all of my debt and my bills come up to be $510. And then we're gonna add on my savings. So we have $500 going into my sinking funds. And then we have $57 going into my savings challenges. Okay, and then we're gonna subtract that from our $1,320. So that is $253 that is left. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put my mortgage down here. So I can go ahead and start saving for my mortgage in the month of August. So we're going to put that remaining $257 here. 
to go towards my mortgage. So that does zero out my budget. So there is no money left on the table. We have taken care of all of our financial responsibilities. Again, this is just a budget on how I would like for my income to go. But we all know that budgets change and not everything goes according to plan. So we, I am going to come back and I'm going to do a update once the income comes in. And then all of these bills start trickling in uh, to see exactly how much of a difference it will be typically the only thing that can be a little higher is like my comment bill yeah that's it y'all everything else is typically around the same amount of money um every month so just my comment bill may be the only thing that changes for a factor or if something comes up and we can't put um money into our saving y'all how did I come up with this plan? I just forgot that I don't have sink or cash envelopes on here. So yeah, homegirl did something wrong. So hold on, we're gonna go ahead and add cash envelopes. Oh, y'all, that's why. <laughs> homegirl put $500 here for sinking funds. And guess what? We're only supposed to be putting $500 in there for the entire month. So yeah, I was wrong. Let me go ahead and update this. What in the world am I doing? All right, y'all, so that first budget was just, yeah. I don't know what, what I was doing there. Um, so we went ahead and we made our changes. So everything stayed the same um, except for my mortgage. I did put, I'm budgeting to put $500 towards my mortgage instead of the 270 57 um then we did go ahead and put the 120 dollars into my cash envelopes which now brings my uh, sinking funds amount that we'll be putting into it is 170 dollars and then we're going to be putting 29 dollars into my savings challenges so there we go i was like something ain't right that's a lot of money going into some <laughs> to some sinking funds but we went ahead and we made sure that everything is taken care of so you guys will see me in my next video which will prayerfully be a cash stuffing pray for your girl um because we have not done one for a long 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 time but luckily for this month we will possibly be doing three budget by paychecks and hopefully three cash stuffings yay because you guys know um like i said in my last video i do have that extra income if you're like sis from what i will go ahead and link my uh previous video up in the clouds so you'll be able to see what's going on but i thank you so 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 much for watching i hope that you have a blessed day i hope you have a wonderful fourth of july if you're watching this on tuesday when this is posted if you're watching it afterwards i hope you had a wonderful fourth of july i love you be blessed bye